Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for watching. So it has been a little while since my last video. That's because I was in a lot of tooth pain. It was kind of going back and forth and it ended up with me needing a root canal, which I had done this morning. So my mouth is just finally starting to feel better. It was super numb for most of the day. But anyway, hopefully all that's behind me now. And I'm really excited to share with you guys my Project 5 Pan update. So since I did my intro, I have finished two of the products. Um, I will include my intro video um, in the description box down below if you haven't seen that, so you can go check that out. But I managed to finish up my Urban Decay um, Primer Potion, the Anti-Aging, and I finished the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer Perfecting Face Primer. So I've managed to finish two primers, which is, is great. And instead of just kind of continuing on with the three other projects or three other products, I've decided to kind of make this a rotating project pan like I was going to do with the Project 20 pan that I abandoned. So I threw in another eye primer. This one is from Lorac. It's the behind the scenes eye primer. It's um, not a full size. I don't know if that's showing up very well there. Uh, it's, it's like gray font on a gray packaging. So this is the Lorac behind the scenes eye primer, eyeshadow primer. Um, it's okay, it's not as good as the Urban Decay, but it does the trick. And the other is a deluxe sample size of the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Foundation Primer. And I really, really love Smashbox primers. They are great. And I'm just trying to weed through my primer collection just because I have so many that I've been trying to get through. And yeah, so I thought that those two would be great additions to my Project 5 pan. As for the other three products, um, there's no real discernible way of showing measurement with like tube things. I have my Brow Drama from Maybelline, which I'm still not super crazy about, but I'm getting there with it. I'm trying to use it every day and my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara um, in this deluxe sample size, which I'm still just trying to use every day. It's hard to tell with mascaras until one day it's just gone. At least that's how I find with mascaras. They're either dried out or it just takes a long time for you to stop finish using them. Like I'll use it one day and then the next day I won't be able to get any product on my lashes. So we'll see how long that goes. And then there's my Urban Decay Concealer. In DEA. I have sharpened this about uh, maybe three times so it's getting there. I find it really hard to sharpen. I don't know it's like the packaging is really kind of slippery. I need to get a bigger or a better uh, pencil sharpener like I the ones that have the, the bigger hole I guess not just the regular like eyeliner pencil because um, I have one that's a little bit old and probably not the best thing to be using. I think Urban Decay has one which I'm thinking about getting because I have a really hard time sharpening the chubbier pencils so maybe that will help out. But anyway that's it for my Project 5 pan. Finished two products, added two more in. Gonna keep on going, using these things up and see how much I can get through. Um, I'm kind of made like an unofficial goal to see how much stuff I can get through before the baby comes. And then once the baby comes, kind of be working on project pans for like the next year when I'm off work because I won't have the income to be buying anyway. And I need to still have stuff to get through. So it'll probably be a year of project pans next year. But anyway, more about that at a later time. Uh, so that's it for my update. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.